it's your OTs and PTs back again for one last quick tip of the school year. Hey Pam, what's a sensory break? A sensory break, it's a great question, is a brief time frame that is structured and intentional to help kids meet their regulation needs. Hey Pam, where do these breaks take place? Another great question. While these breaks often occur outside of the classroom for a specific student, it may be beneficial to provide these breaks inside the classroom for the entire class. How do I know what to do? That's easy. Sensory breaks should be structured and thoughtful to meet the current needs of your classroom, typically to calm them down or wake them up. To calm your students down, you may want to try dimming the lights, using fewer words and a quiet, calm voice, using quiet, calm music, giving specific students headphones to wear, doing different breathing activities such as waterfall breaths, or choosing an appropriate go noodle um, such as a melting flow. Did you know that in Go Noodle, you can filter by energy level? To wake your students up, you may want to try brightening the lights, um, playing some quick tempo music, more vigorous movement or dancing, like UW Dance Team's Tic Tacs, or high kicks. Um, choose an appropriate go noodle like banana banana meatball or do more quick deep breathing like imagining you're blowing out a candle with three quick breaths. Thanks for watching our PTOT quick tip. If you'd like any specific sensory strategies for specific students, just grab one of your therapists and we'd be happy to help you out.